gonna be making some good bomb ass birria. Just kidding. And I'm gonna be making some queso tacos too. Welcome back to Jenny's Kitchen. And guess what we are doing today? What everybody has been asking me for. They want the full step-by-step -step video on the famous birria. So you guys are gonna be in for a treat. All right guys, so let's go over our ingredients. I'm gonna be using six pounds of beef chuck roast, bone in, and again, I'm gonna just remind you guys, bone is very important when you cook it in the, in the stew. I'm gonna be using 20 California chiles, and these are, you can find them pretty much anywhere. If you cannot find them, the New Mexico or the Guajillo is fine. Uh, I'm gonna be adding the chile puya. You guys, if you guys want to know the name of these chiles in English, just read the descriptions down below. This is chile pasilla. I'm going to be using two. The whole cumin, white vinegar, a pinch of uh, chile de arbol, dry oregano, fresh ginger, toasted sesame seeds. This is uh, a whole head of garlic four bay leaves, the cilantro and the onion and the lime, that's just gonna be our toppings for our beef stew. All right, so let's get the meat cooking. All right guys, so it's time to put our meat to cook. And remember, the bone is very important to, to give it taste to your stew. So you want the whole roast cooked, you're gonna put it all the way in and make sure that you have plenty of water that covers the entire meat. That's how you know how much water you need for to boil the meat. You're going to need a whole head of your garlic cloves. Since I'm using a large onion, I'm just going to be using half of one. Four bay leaves. And I'm going to be using some salt. And this is for your preference, to, just to taste. So I'm going to be using a whole handful, just like this. So now we let it cook for an hour. Total time is gonna be two hours, but in an hour you're gonna check it in. Guys, this video of me making that birria on TikTok hit over 3.5 million views. For everyone that doesn't know what a queso taco is, well, I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, pour some oil on a cast iron skillet. Okay, so remember that caldito that uh, I made plenty of? Well, there's a purpose for that. You're gonna need some to dip in your tortilla. And then you're gonna transfer in. Okay, so then you start adding your cheese. And then you start adding some meat. You start folding it and you make sure that it get, gets a nice crisp. These are done. Okay, so you start pouring some caldito on a cup. Now you're gonna double dunk your taco into that juice. You put cilantro, cebolla, and some lemon, lime in your beet juice. And so you put more cilantro, more onion if you like. Now you duck, soak, and bite. And many of you have been asking me to recreate this recipe step by step here in, on YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do it. All right, so let's get all the seeds out of the chile and all the stems out. All right, so make sure that you get a bowl so you can get all your trash in there. And you just want to get all the seeds out just like this. You see it? Just like that. All right, so once you have been cooking your meat for an hour or so, that's when you want to start cooking your, your uh, chile because uh, you, got, you want to use that beef stew uh, to, instead of using that chile water, don't use that. Use the 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 uh, the beef stew. That's what you want to use. All right. So let me. There's a lot of chilies for me to take uh, the seeds out. So let me get to it, guys. And this video of the birria. This is what uh, went viral on TikTok for the my very first video that went viral, and I couldn't believe it because um, I mean I was just doing this account for fun. And the next day that I posted the, the video on the birria and I woke up and my phone was blowing up. 
and I couldn't believe it. I mean, I was so happy. I'm not gonna lie, I was really, really excited. I really love when you send me the videos of your kids saying hi, and you guys sharing my recipes. I really, really want to thank all of you for sharing all those recipes. And if you guys want to send them over, you can send them over at my Instagram page, which is Happy Bellies by Jenny. So again, thank you so much for all that love and support. Guys, and I have a surprise for you. Who remembers that Quesa Taco video too that went viral? It actually surpassed the birria video. So you guys are gonna be in for a treat because I'm making the corn tortillas, handmade corn tortillas. So, stay tuned. All right guys, so our meat has been cooking for a while. Let's cook our chiles. All right, so put in your, all your chiles inside a pot with water and you're gonna make sure that they're all covered with water and cook them for a good 25 to 30 minutes. All right guys, so our chiles have been cooked already and I let them cool down just for a little bit. So now I'm gonna transfer them all into my blender. And again, like I told you, I am just going to drain all that chile water because I'm going to be adding my beef juice. <laughs> no, the beef broth. All right, so let's drain all of this water out because you want to add just that additional flavor of that beef broth in your chile. So let me get a cup for that. All right, so now I got my cup and I'm going to be adding some of this beef broth into my blender. And I'm just gonna use maybe two full cups of this mug, just like this. Perfect. So again, our meat has been cooking already for a little bit over an hour, and this is when I want to add my, my uh, chile rojo. Okay, and so now, you want to add your garlic, the fresh ginger, the cumin, the dry oregano, and for the exact measurements, make sure that you guys read the description on all of the ingredients. Now I have uh, the toasted sesame seeds, just like this. Perfect. Now we have a quarter cup of white vinegar, and I'm gonna flavor this chile with two tablespoons of chicken bouillon. You can use the beef if you like, but this is what I'm used to. Okay, so now we blend. coming out of the blender. It smells so good. All right, let's all put it in the, in the pot. All right, so let's check on our meat. And look how beautiful and tender that meat is getting. So it's only been cooking for like an hour and 10 minutes and this is when I want to add all my chile. And this is a chile rojo that I'm gonna be adding. And oh my gosh, I wish you guys can smell the house. All those uh, flavors already that I can already taste in my mouth. So the reason that I like to leave all this juice is because we're gonna be dipping our quesataco in it. So you want that extra stew in it, the consomme. So this is uh, when you want to cover all your meat. And then now you wanna cover it again and cook it for another full hour. I'm excited already. All right guys, so our meat is about to be done. It just still needs another 20 minutes so I can get that sazon. And I am going to start cutting my veggies. So I'm gonna be cutting this white onion. And again, this is gonna be for your topping on your, on your uh, virria. So let's peel this away. I like to peel the very first layer of my onion and this one came apart like this, so I'm just gonna take it off. And again, when you are gonna be adding some onion uh, as a topping, you wanna make sure that you cut it really small because you don't like big chunks of onion, especially when it's raw. You wanna make sure it's nice and fine, just like this. Right, let's try 
transferred into our bowl. Alright, so now let's cut our cilantro. And again, you want to start really, really uh, cutting it really, really small. Oh, I love the smell of cilantro. And there you go. Put it on the side, just like this. So now we are waiting just for that birria to come out. All right, guys, our birria is finally done. It's been cooking for a total of two hours. So now let's take a peek. Look at that beautiful stew, the consomme. Oh my gosh, look at this. That rich, beautiful caldito. That's what you want for you to be able to put your queso taco in there. All right, so let's serve. Okay, so now let's get a big piece because we are gonna transfer it to our cutting board so we can cut it in little small pieces. Let me get a smaller piece because it's pretty heavy. Okay, let's see. Look at this. Beautiful. All right, let's cut it. All right, guys, so I turned off the meat already because it's done. So now we're gonna get our tortillas, our homemade tortillas for our queso taco. So I have a little, little ball right here made of dough. And this is uh, the corn tortillas, which is uh, the tortilla de maíz. So now that I have my nice little ball right here, and so this is a pretty big ball because I want a big tortilla for my queso taco. So let's see, let's line it up really nice and good into my tortillero. And this here, this is a piece of Ziploc bag that I just cut. So those big old freezer, the gallon freezer uh, Ziploc bags, that's what I used. So now let's get it nicely pressed. And again, just keep keep on keeping an eye on it. Just make sure that that's the the size that you want. And for me, this is gonna do. Look at that big old tortilla, beautiful. So now let's take it out. And guys, I don't have a comal, but I do have a cast iron skillet, and that works wonders. So now we're gonna put it in. All right. So make sure that your skillet is nice and hot before you lay your tortilla just like this look at that isn't that beautiful all right so now let's flip our tortilla now this is what you want that little nice and fluff beautiful all right so you want to make sure that you put some oil of your choice and i'm going to be using the liquid shortening and i already have my tortilla soaking inside of the little uh Consomme, which is the beef stew. And so now, look at this beautiful baby. Just like that. So you immediately want to start putting your cheese. And I'm using Monterey. Now let me go bring the meat. You want to start adding your meat, just like this. Look at that awesome taco. Now, you just want to fold it. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this beautiful taco. Just like this. And if you guys want to drizzle it more with more of the beef uh, broth, you can. So this, I'm just trying to keep all my meat inside. Ugh. Look at that beautiful taco. And now to finish it off, I'm going to put more. Look at this. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to decorate our plate with some cebollita, which is the onion, some cilantro. Let me put more cebolla. All right, and don't forget your lemon, your limon, whatever you have in stock is gonna work fine. Okay, so look at this. Now I need a spoon. Okay, so let's mix this really well. My mouth is just watering. I wanna taste this so bad. All right, so it's that time to taste it. You have your consomme, your caldito, and your ginormous quesataco. 
And then you just dip it in, you make sure you just dunk it, you dip it, make sure that you get all that juice in there, and you bite. Oh my god. Guys, this is so good. Oh my gosh, guys, that was so good. I had to go clean my face. And then the rest of your beauty, yeah, you just kind of eat it just like this. It's perfect for a cruda, <laughs> after a party, the uh, midnight munchies, whatever you want to call it. And then you just eat it like this. Oh my gosh. So delicious. This birria goes with any dish alone with beans, arroz rojo, the Mexican red rice. If you guys want to know how to make it, hit this link. And again, this is such a simple dish, but so full of flavors. So don't forget to give me that like and that subscribe. Thank you. Bye.